Good morning, Vishal. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? I am good, ma'am. I am good. What about you? Uh, very well. Uh, I can see. It looks like as if you are traveling somewhere. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. Yes. But currently, I am not traveling. I am outside the road. Oh, okay. You are sitting in the car. It looks like that. Yes, ma'am. Because due to some network issue. I can't attend the session at my home, so that's why I'm out of. Okay, no worries, no worries. All right, good. So Vishal, uh, we are meeting for the first time. Uh, I'd like you to give me a short introduction of yourself, please. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Vishal Sen. I am from Madhya Pradesh, District Ratlam. I have done my graduation in Bachelor of Art from Vikram University. And uh, I work in police department. Okay, what do you do? I work in the police department. Yes, but what do you do in the police department? I'm a constable, ma'am. Fantastic. I, generally, I work in field. Okay, very good. So, uh, tell me, uh, Vishal, uh, this is your nineteenth session. Yes. Right? And how, how are you finding yourself learning English so far in all these sessions? All the sessions are going very well, ma'am. And I have learned a lot from all the sessions. And okay. all, the, all the tutors guide very well. And I am following all the instructions, whatever given by the tutors. All right. Very good. And are you, uh, are you applying your English on your job or while you're speaking to people? No, ma'am. While speaking, only while speaking. Not a job. Okay, so like you do your field job you're as a police constable, are you able to speak in English to anyone there? Not anyone, but usually I will I try. Okay, so you get the milte hai aapko baat karne ke liye? Yes, ma'am, yes. You get, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. So, um, so uh, I wanted to ask you before we start is that would you prefer that I correct you as and when you are speaking something or would you like me to uh, give you my feedback towards the end of the session? No, as you wish, both I'm acceptable. You're good with both. Okay, fantastic. So do you know the topic for today? Yes, ma'am, yes. I have gone through the topic. Okay, how do you find the topic? Because I find now that I know that you're a police constable, this is the exact very good topic for you to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> usually, so, we usually face this type of, this type of situation, <laughs> unexpected situation. Yes, yes. So you would be the best person to talk about such kind of things. So do you remember what was the topic? Should I tell you the should I tell you the situation? Yes, ma'am, I know the situation of bizarre. Yes, but what was the situation? So you're you're hiking in a forest, and you find a black suitcase, okay? Yes. And you open the suitcase, but inside that there are ten crore rupees in cash, and there is a piece of paper stained in blood with a single word, "Don't." Yes. Yeah. So, as a situation, have you faced it before in any way? I mean, in, not of course with cash or anything, but otherwise. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We face this okay. type of situation. Not a, not a money, but uh, we face a lot, lots of situations like a bag there outside the in, at home and a car park outside the home. So we face okay. this type of situation. So tell me now. Imagine that this is the situation you have faced. Now, what would you do? Would you, uh, you know, would who would you tell? What would you do with the suitcase? Would you leave it? Would you take it home? What would you do? First of all, I will pause it and I will see around because this is very mysterious circumstances and it can be happened behind this. So I will try to well, understand. Can, well, you just said it can be happened behind this. Can you explain that? What does that mean? Well, this situation is very mysterious. So it yes. can be happened behind this. Anything can be happened behind this. You can't say. Uh, so you want to investigate? The uh, background. That's what you're trying to say. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Okay. 
and uh, then i will see i will try to understand what is the situation and then i will inform my seniors so sir please uh, i will request them sir please send a team for investigation and then uh, i will do this time because this is the human tendency that, that uh, after seeing a lots of money we can lose our patience so but this is the time this is the time the person's personality is identified yes so uh, you actually lose uh, your integrity uh, yes, more than patience patience means where you are uh, where you want something very fast and uh, you know you want to get somewhere very fast and you feel very impatient right but when you see money you you talk about integrity that means uh, you, you know what is it right to do what is the right thing to do right honesty integrity these are the things okay okay yeah Great. perfect so continue continue you were talking about personality yes yes ma'am because, because this is the time person the personality is identified because we this is 10 crore rupees is a huge amount for anyone so if i will try that i grab the bag and flee from the spot so this is not good for my future because i know the police can caught me any anywhere so that's why i am yeah. type yeah. because if we are taking money and if we are flee from the spots we are inviting the problems yeah so so that this is the reason i will inform my seniors and try to investigate what is the reason behind this and then i will go i will inform the fingerprint experts because we get lots of information from this because a bag lots of money and a note is available that blood stain of blood yes so and we, a blood stain yes so we can get uh, fingerprints so we can identify the what was the reason behind this and who is the person who did this mm -hmm. so all this you are able to say because you are in this profession yes ma'am yes <laughs> imagine if you were not in this profession then someone would not know right how does uh, police work happen what does what happens during this time right is a human tendency if i am not on uh, police department so i will see around and i will try to take out some money and flee from the spot and i will not say anything because this is a human tendency 10 crore rupees is a huge amount for anyone and uh, we can we can do it anything like if then if i take out money we can we can we can do anything with this money right yes we can do it yeah, anything correct. with money yeah first of all i will take out some money like 1 crore 2 crore whatever is my needed in this situation and i will free from the spot because nobody is interested to call the police because you know if you are call the police the police ask a lots of question where are you doing there something like that So but you would leave your fingerprints right on the suitcase if you take the money i will clean all this fingerprints <laughs> because you know police work so you will do that okay yes, <laughs> or maybe to a lot of these police movies are also on so we get a lot of ideas from movies as well yes ma'am yes, okay ma okay is a human tendency ma'am everyone i think 99% person do this type of activities because the man, everyone wants to money so everyone wants money everyone wants to money so this type uh, there's no two everyone wants money okay okay yeah or everyone wants to be rich to be rich yes, yes. yeah right yeah okay right so tell me if it was say for example uh, another situation where you're walking on the street and you find a 500 rupee note on the road 500 rupee note yeah lying on the road yeah then what would you do then 500 rupees i will take and i will try to see 
will find because this is the is small amount so that's why i will try to who is the person and i will want to give this money yeah yeah but this is the first situation in 10 crore rupees so everyone lose their integrity yeah yes integrity correct integrity that's true yeah integrity integrity yes it not uh, it's not inter it's i n t e so inter integrity yeah yeah yes that, that's good good so uh, what uh, we're going to do next is that this same session has a lot of session document has a lot of new words which are connected to what we have spoken okay okay so i will repeat those words one by one i'd like you to repeat them after me okay and only stop me when you feel you're not clear on the meaning of the word right is it clear okay okay very good so a uh, camouflage yes, i i am aware of this word because we use this type of like we when at the training period we go to jungle camp and we try to hide something so we i listen this word at that time can you repeat play. can you repeat the word after me i want to see your pronunciation as well that's why i'd like you to repeat every word that i say yeah camouflage no it's not chemo it's camouflage camouflage yes okay a uh, sprint 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 no, i am not aware of this one sprinting is running as fast as you can over a short distance okay so you, just in a short distance you want to quickly sprint can you just say you're miss going to miss a bus so quickly run to the bus stop yes you know like that right sprint. okay uh, yes conceal conceal yeah not conceal 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 yeah what does that mean no ma'am not at all okay so this is not allowed to be seen to hide something So if you are hiding something you are concealing it okay okay oh, or if you are hiding something from someone if you are not telling something from someone you are concealing that fact right so it's called not allowed to be seen yeah okay in plain sight not aware of it can you can you repeat the word as well madam repeat once again in plain sight in plain sight yeah so that means it is easy to see easy it to is see. E it is a, yeah it is easy it is kept in a place which is easy to see in plain sight in plain sight okay stolen stolen madam i am aware of embezzlement 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 heist heist you are clear with the word embezzlement no no i am not clear okay so embezzlement means it's a crime way of secretly taking money that is in your care or that belongs to somebody else so if somebody has given you some money right and you are keeping it for them and then when they ask for it back and you say no i don't have it so you have taken that money secretly they don't know about it but you kept on taking that money what you have done is embezzlement embezzlement yeah okay heist heist yeah heist is like a robbery right where you you are you go and you steal so that's called a heist right smuggle yes ma'am i'm aware of this one smuggle you have to repeat the word yeah you have to repeat smuggle the word. smuggle bari 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 mask mask disguise disguise fishy fishy something fishy i am heard about this but it didn't get the right uh, meaning to be garbad yes correct something fishy something dishonest or false right yes, something something he said i i think there's something fishy about this situation yes, right yes. okay good mysterious 
mysterious secluded secluded visible visible odd odd incidental incidental uncommon uncommon irregular irregular bizarre bizarre unexpected situation very strange and very unusual like finding that full box of 10 crore in a forest right that's a completely bizarre because you don't you can't explain it kahan se aaya kyun aaya you can't explain it right yes ma'am correct a uh, peculiar peculiar something different uh, yes peculiar means unusual strange that you don't mm-hmm. see normally right abnormal abnormal unusual unusual suspicious suspicious confused confused yes very good very nice so i think your pronunciation is uh, good vishal uh, uh, you definitely have a few parts of the word which you have to uh, you know pronounce better right um, i've also given you feedback as and when we've been talking right so Oh, I can see that uh, you know you need to continue since this is your nineteenth session, right? You need to continue uh, as you're doing and keep practicing, right? Okay. And do you also uh, read any books or watch any movies in English? Do you see anything else besides this? Yes, ma'am. I'm generally watching watch English conversation video with English subtitles, and uh, nowadays I'm uh, reading a good book. Word power made easy for vocabulary builder. Okay. This is very helpful for us. Fantastic, fantastic. So, uh, you know, uh, going forward in the next session, maybe you could share what are the words that you have learned as well, and you will understand how to use them in your everyday life. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we are done with our session today. If you have any questions, uh, Vishal. No, ma'am. 